Hey guys, TalkTat here. All right, let me talk about the uh, Archangel stock system set for the Remington 870. I got the full set that comes with the shell carrier because the this set comes in two versions, one with and one without the shell carrier. So if you're looking at uh, ordering one, if you want the shell carrier, make sure it's the AA870SC shell carrier. So that's included. If not, you'll only get the rear stock and the foregrip. Okay, came with um, came with a set of instructions. First negative thing I'm going to say is I don't know why they rolled this up. This was a lot tinier. I mean, this was like like that. Okay, like that hole. That's how, that's how this was wrapped up with a rubber band, and like if it was some ancient scroll or something. I don't know why they didn't just leave it flat or fold it a few times. That would have been a lot easier. I mean, I had to flatten this out on a copier to make some copies to be able to use it. You don't really need it for the instructions, but it's nice to have the diagrams that show um, show the parts and pieces, you know, so that that is nice. Anyway, okay. The foregrip. Foregrip, very high quality polymer foregrip. Very nice three rail system. Okay, this is pretty cool. I did not use it because I love my Magpul foregrip. So I kept my Magpul foregrip and this, at this point I'm not gonna use. Okay, and I'm, like I said, I really like the fact that it already comes with the rails. But I'm not, I'm not taking this off, I love this. So. About the same size, okay. The shell carrier. This is a seven shell carrier. Excellent. This shell carrier is. It's not uh, just polymer, I believe. It's not. Uh, it's not metal. This shell carrier is very nice. You have adjustable. Oops. You have individual adjustments for each shell. So if you want to tighten it. If any one of these are loose, you can tighten it so they're all the same. I have a Mesa Tactical, and that one comes with two rubber rubber things that go back here to you know, hold the shells in, but they're not, it's not uh, individually adjustable. Plus the fact that the Mesa Tactical, the six, I think that thing runs for like $60. You can get this by itself for $25. That is an excellent value. This is an excellent rail. I mean, it's I've seen the other lower expensive ones like the Tac Star. Those have the those are like open. Those uh, the tension on that after a while loosens up, so the shells start to fall out. Here, if you have any issues with that, you just you know you remove this and reinstall it individually or or all at once. This is excellent. When I shot trap the other day, I, I put the five in and started shooting. These don't come out. So. This is an excellent, excellent shell carrier. For $25, you cannot go wrong. This is, I mean, I wish they would have had this, um, I wish I would have known about this earlier. This is just awesome. And a seven shell carrier to, to boot, okay? So uh, I'm going to say Pro Mag Archangel. You got 100% uh, on that one. That is fantastic, okay? Now, moving on to the pistol grip slash rear stock. Okay, I like the way this feels. It's a, it's a nice length of pull. This is adjustable. The, the rear stock had a, li a little bit of wobble, okay? And it, it really wasn't a big deal. But like my AR, I'm not crazy about a little bit of wobble, so I just put a little bit of uh, Gorilla Black Tape here, and now there's absolutely no wobble. And it's kind of hard to change the position now, but... That's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm the only one who's going to use it. So this is awesome. Okay. One thing I did not like about this is that this, to me, is a pain in the neck to hook this up to the receiver. Okay. You have a little tiny channel in here. Thank God they included this long Allen key because there's no way I would have been able to do it otherwise. And instead of this going straight... This the screw that goes in here 
it's sort of like this on an angle okay so I wish they would have come up with a different way maybe coming in from the back would have been smarter because the screw goes in and then it tilts up so then you're having to tighten it with this tip on sort of an angle to get it in there so I've had to, I had to do that twice the first time I did it just to t test it out and feel it and then this came loose after a bunch of days with me just handling it I hadn't even shot it yet so I put blue all thread on there and tighten it up and after a couple rounds of trap this is solid as a rock so this is not coming off because this was such a pain in the neck to put on okay besides that like the way this feels this uh, quick sling attachment it, there's a hole here for it and it's perfect and the only other thing you have to remember there's a back plate that comes with the original receiver you take that off to put this on and I did put a little bit of a little sliver of Gorilla Black Tape in here because when you when you slide this on to the receiver it fits but like there's a little tiny gap here on the sides so that little tiny gap kind of uh, leaves it to where it might wobble in and out as you're trying to put the screw in so I put that little bit of tape on each side so that this stock won't wobble as I'm screwing it in and again like I said it's solid as a rock it's not going anywhere moving on to the butt pad the butt pad comes with a cheek riser now I cannot use the cheek riser because it messes up my line of sight even with this raised with these raised uh, sights that I bought I still can get a good sight alignment with this cheek riser with this cheek riser so I just took it off I don't use it the butt pad is nice and I cursed the day I ever took it off because after I took it off now it's like I can't quite get it back on I mean it's flush now so it's mostly on but it was it's a real pain in the neck to get this butt plate on I initially thought that I had to take off the butt plate to to install it my fault is I didn't read the instructions Basically, you just pull this back, if it was an AR, lift this up and pull it out, and you can attach the, the buffer tube to the receiver, and then put this back on there. Okay, so you don't need to take this off. It comes with another insert on the inside, but you don't need to take this off. And this is not going to come off, but I'm, it's kind of bugging me that this is not quite in there. It's just it's, it's a real pain to get back on, like I said. So another thing I did notice that uh, this does kick a little bit harder than my original setup which was the wood stock I know that's partially because of a pistol grip partially because I, I have to get used to pushing forward pushing forward on the on the foregrip as I'm squeezing so I don't get that so much of a bang and also I'm a little spoiled because I'm used to my Mossberg 930 that's a uh, semi-auto and though and that doesn't kick as much as a uh, as a pump so that could be also I kind of wanted to have a pump to, to use in um, the gun club events because I've been spoiled like I said only using a semi-auto so now I have this and I can't wait to go at it next month this also comes with a little um, compartment and what I have in here is uh, all the allen wrenches all the allen keys that uh, I might need for the barrel clamp for shell carrier and even for this so you know it's a nice little place so that in case you're out there something happens you get something gets loose you just have it right here with you you know for this specific weapon I love that and that's about it so I guess I do like this and it's not coming off I'm keeping this like I said the foregrip foregrip I'm not going to use because I already have the mag pole and now that I install this I'm not going to uninstall it because it's, it's, it was a pain to use or pain to install and besides that it's really good really nice so there you have it you know for those of you who want to try to get a pistol grip Archangel setup may not be a bad uh, may not be a bad choice you know I know there's others but 
just gave you my two cents worth of uh, this setup. Okay, guys. Till next time.